generous and loving members and friends of the Midwest Church of Christ. The Midwest Church of Christ is located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. And we'd like to extend to you and to your entire family a warm and loving invitation to come and be with us in any and all of the services of the Midwest Church of Christ. Again, located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. Our order of services include each Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. is our first worship of the day. Then at 9.30, we have our Sunday Bible School. And at 10.30, we have our second worship of the day. On Wednesdays, we have our midweek Bible study, prayer, and uh, devotional services. Our first session is at uh, 10 a.m. in the morning, and our evening set session is at 10 minutes before 7. Uh, and uh, we hope that you will join with us and study the word of God, right, uh, uh, and uh, learn what the will of the Lord is for your life um, and uh, all of those around you. Praise be unto God. <clears throat> In if you would like to study the Bible in the comforts of your own home, we have two ways that you can do this. One is the Bible correspondence course that you can take by mail. The second is the um, home Bible study where someone will come and uh, uh, sit down with you and study the word of God right in the comforts of your own home. Uh, either way, you give us a call at 774-3986 and uh, we'll register you today. In other announcements, um, the 2020 National Jail and Prison Workshop Planning Meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, December the 31st at 4 p.m. Let's come out today and let's see how we can make uh, the 2014, uh, fifth, listen to me, 2020 uh, National uh, Workshop uh, the best ever yet. We're looking forward to it, and we hope that you will uh, come and and be with us. This will be uh, the start of our uh, year-long activities uh, celebrating 100 years as a congregation of God's great people. So we're just thankful to God. Amen. We're we that um, God has saw. Uh, fit to allow us to be here 100 years, and we're marching uh, to the next uh, 100 years uh, in the uh, the body of Jesus Christ here in West Louisville. A renaissance is on its way, uh, and uh, we we want to be a real positive. Uh, uh, influence on the people of God uh, in West Louisville, and we hope that you will join with us, brother. Amen, brother John Pooh Malone. We'll be kicking off our New Year's uh, um, uh, Sunday uh, this coming Sunday. He'll be uh, joining with us here at the Midwest Church of Christ. Uh, as our youth and young adult minister. And we're just excited about it. 
We, we think he's going to be a great blessing to the people of God here in Louisville and, uh, and particularly the Midwest Church of Christ. God bless, God bless him, bless his, uh, his uh, young family. Amen. His young family, my youngest daughter, Lydia and and uh, Miss Personality, uh, <laughs> their young daughter, um, amen, Miss Elizabeth Joy. Yes, and we are just thankful to uh, God, and may he continue to bless us as a people um, in 2020. The Mildred High, Mildred Purvis, 2019 uh, New Year's Eve program and fellowship will be tonight, uh, December the 31st at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, those interested in participating with a song, poem, or reading, please sign up. Give us a call today. Let us know that you're, you you want to be on the program, and we'll make every effort to get you to do that. So let's make sure that we are doing everything we can to tell the Lord, show the Lord, we're ready to do great things in his name and to bless uh, the, the kingdom of God uh, throughout the world. The annual Labors in the Vineyard Fellowship and Unity Day is set for Sunday, January 12th uh, at um, uh, 2020. There, there will be only one worship service um, on this day at 10.30 a.m. Sunday school will continue to be at 9.30, and we are making a special plea for all members to attend Sunday school and worship service and, and attend our laborers in the yard fellowship. We hope that you'll do that. We hope that you'll do that. Parents, um, we hope that uh, you, you will join with us. And, uh, uh, bring your young people, get them involved with um, with the work of the church and and engaged with building a life um, centered in Jesus Christ. That is a Sunday, the January the twelfth, uh, and this is our potluck. As I always tell you all, you all bring the pots, and I will find my luck in them. So you make sure that you come and that you are are with us. And uh, we know um, God will God will bless you, and He will bless you richly. The Village Learning Center will be opening up um, uh, on the next Monday, um, and we hope that you. Well, get your children registered for the for the winter session, for the winter session of the um, Village Learning Center as we work with the children in the after school uh, ministry and their reading, their math, and uh, their writing skills. These are very important to the uh, the welfare of uh, a young person's uh, um, future. And we know that you need to uh, start your children in uh, um, making sure that their reading, math, and writing skills are of such that it will help them get employment uh, and uh, uh, for the future. So I hope, trust, and pray that you will do that and that you'll make every effort. We'll make every effort to, to 
uh, to please the Lord our God. Praise be unto God. The Midwest Kids Cafe is open Thursdays at 5 p.m. The cafe provides a healthy meal along with physical and educational activities. We need volunteers to come and work with us in, uh, in this great effort. Uh, and uh, we hope that you will come and support the young people of our generation. Uh, let them know that the Lord through you are blessing their lives. And so may, may our God, may our God bless you all and bless you richly is our continued prayer. The uh, food and clothing ministry will be open to assist our neighbors the second and fourth uh, Thursdays uh, in January. Keep this in mind. We want to help you with your financial uh, stability. You know, pay your rent, pay your utilities. Let us help you. Let us help you with your food and clothing uh, and those, those needs that you have. We, we want to help people be able to get their family finances together. And we hope that you will join with us and help uh, the people of uh, our generation. Uh, we also want to um, uh, announce that the North Central Church of Christ having their gospel meeting will be uh, tonight at, at uh, the 31st at 8.30 p.m. So let's keep that in mind. If you are able to go, uh, it'll be it'll be uh, good for you, brother. We were with them last night, and our prayers will be with them again uh, tonight. We want to remember our sick and our shut-in. We want to remember um, uh, Sister Beverly Bledsoe. And oh, it was so good to see Sister Terry Clay back among the people of God. And also Sister Anda Sharp uh, back among the people of God. And we're thankful for what God has done for her. But remember, continue to pray for Sister Savannah Johnson, Sister Don Marie Sizemore, and uh, um, pray for Brother Johnny Miles and Brother Angelo Pendergrass. Let God be with them. Pray for our shut-ins, uh, Sister Mamie Cartwright. And Sister Cartwright is at the Clark Memorial Hospital. And uh, uh, and we want to uh, continue to pray for her um, and ask God to, to give them uh, his grace to be with her. Sister Louise Covington, Sister Sarah uh, Cowan, Sister uh, uh, Mary Hunter, Sister Pearl Smith, Sister Vivian Wakefield, Sister uh, Mary Wood. I also pray for brothers James Frazier. Keep these in your prayers. And ask God to be with them and strengthen them. We know God is able. And so we ask that you pr uh, pray for Brother Frazier and pray for Sister Frazier and Sister Miles as they are and their families as they're taking care of uh, their loved ones pray also pray also um uh for those going through dialysis radiation chemotherapy and other treatments want to pray for our dear friends uh sister angela walls gill sister sheila heiner uh sister sandy hammond schuler sister rita Kamishi, Sister Sarah, uh, Sister Beverly Bledsoe, 
Sister Anya Lawson, Sister Latanya Johnson. Pray also, Brothers Jasper Crenshaw, Brother Richard Rose, Brother Gary King, Brother Frederick Hines, and Brother Marvin Stevenson uh, Senior, uh, Junior rather, Junior. And may God be, may God be with them and be with them all. We want to give thanks to God and for those who supported the um, the radio uh, ministry. And you know what I did? I left my my uh, my sheet back upstairs. Praise be unto God. Well, let's keep those, and we want to say to those. That we're not, we, we, it's not that we, we intend to, uh, we just have several things that we're doing. And so we want you to continue to pray, pray for us. Would you bow with me? Dear God and Father, thank you so much for being who you are. Being the God who cares, a God who loves, a God who supplies, a God that heals, a God that fixes the brokenness of man. I just thank you. Oh, we celebrate you. We praise you because there is no other God besides you. Lord, we bring our sick. We bring our shut in. We bring those going through special treatment. We bring them before you and we lay them at the feet of Jesus. And we ask, oh God, that you be merciful. Lord, we thank you so much. We thank you for all that you continue to do. Father, and as we open up your word today, may you allow us, may you allow us to have a fresh, a fresh reward, word from the Lord that we may be refreshed. Lord, thank you. And oh, how we love you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Now let's open up your Bibles to the book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Psalms, the first division. The Bible, the word of God says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and is in his law. Does he meditate day and night? And he shall be like a tree, Planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Jesus come to show us how to live in this new kingdom of God. Matthew records him teaching his disciples in the mountain. In Matthew chapter five, beginning at verse number three, the Bible, the word of God says, blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, 
they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, they shall attain mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are ye. Men shall revile you and persecute you, and they shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. For my sake, rejoice. Rejoice, he says, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Your reward is in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. Now, Let's open up your Bibles to the book of John, the 19th chapter, and the verse is 30. John chapter 19 and verse number 30. The word of the Lord says, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. Then bowing, his head he gave up the ghost he gave up the spirit tuesday december the 31st 2019 our daily devotion entitled it is finished God always finishes what he began. The Apostle Paul declared in the book of Philippi, chapter 1 and verse 6, I am sure of this, I am confident of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God never speaks word without ensuring that it comes to pass. Isaiah the prophet declared in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11, he says, so, so my word that comes from my mouth will not return unto me empty void but it uh, it will accomplish what i please and will prosper in what i send it to do christ is both the um, the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end Revelation 1 and verse 8 and 17. Christ Jesus is as much of at the end of his work as he is in the beginning. Jesus was given an enormous mandate. He was to live a sinless life remaining absolutely obedient to the father even the manner of his death was to fulfill numerous prophecies that had been foretold in the scripture matthew chapter 26 and 24 and 31 and 
Matthew uh, 26, uh, 54, 56. And uh, my brothers and sisters, they all talked about the, the amen, the, the suffering that Jesus would do in behalf of all of us. Let me tell you all something. We couldn't have gone, we couldn't have buried a cross like Jesus did. But God wants us to know we will have a cross. Amen. Despite the extreme, the extremity complex assignment Jesus received from his father, he could shout uh, amen triumphantly from the cross. It is finished. Christ now, Christ Jesus now resides within each believer. His uh, assignment today is to complete God's will in each Christian. He is just as determined to do this in us as he was to complete God's will for himself. You will, you will have to resist Christ in order to remain out of the will of God. What is what is, what is it what is it that God wants to do in you he he wants you to have to allow him to complete what he has begun in you he will not force you to receive all that he has in store for your life if God if God's if God's work has not been brought to to fruition in you, it is not that Christ has not began and been diligently working, uh, Amen, uh, in your behalf. If God's word, if God's word work, uh, that is. If God's work has not, uh, amen, has not uh, uh, been completed, it is not because God did not start it and he is desiring to complete it. You may, you may need to release areas of your life in his care and be as determined to see Christ's God's work in you completed as Christ is. Review the things God has, amen, said to you that uh, this last year, look at, at what God was saying to you, then allow God, then allow God to work with you. Help him to work with you to fulfill his charge for you. And so is the readings from the books of the Lord. The book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Matthew chapter five, verse three through 12. And here in the book of John chapter 19, and the verse is 30. Now let's go to our featured study found in the uh, eighth chapter of the book of Hebrews. Now, beginning at verse number four, the word of the Lord said, now if he were on earth, he would be, he wouldn't be a priest since there are those offering the gifts prescribed by the law. These, amen, these serve as a copy and shadow 
of the heavenly things as Moses was warned when he uh, was about to, to complete the tabernacle. God said, be careful that you make everything according to the pattern that was shown to you on the mountain. But Jesus, but Jesus has now obtained a superior ministry. And to that, and to that degree, he is the mediator of a better covenant which was, which has been legally enacted on better promises. Jesus Christ is the exalted minister of the real heavenly world this is the meaning of uh, these uh, two verses of uh, hebrews the eighth chapter and verse four and five he says again now if he were on earth speaking of jesus he wouldn't be a priest since there are those offering the gifts prescribed by the law. These serve as a copy and shadow of the heavenly things as Moses was warned when he was about to complete a amen the tabernacle for god said moses moses listen to me moses you hey, amen you make sure moses that you have the people build the tabernacle the way just like i showed you in he in heaven on the mountain he says i i showed it to you I don't want a I don't want a boat not mi missing. I don't want a I don't want a strain not missing. I don't want anything. And let me just can I can I share something? Can I share something with you? This is free. It won't cost you nothing. We'll we'll share this with you because you need to know what I'm getting ready to say. I know people. I know people. And, and listen, listen, listen. I want every one of you to know, I don't have no heaven and I ain't got no hell. So all I can do is give you what, what thus saith the Lord, because this, this wasn't in my script, but, but here, here's, but, but the Holy Spirit said, you, you're going past here, pastor. He said, the Holy Spirit said, now you give this to him. You give it to him. So I'm giving it to him. I'm giving it to him. Remember what God told Moses. You go and make sure that the that the people of Israel they build the tabernacle ex exactly the way I, I have showed you in my holy mountain. Now, now, God had them put everything not only the tabernacle, the shell, but he told them exactly what to put in it. <laughs> Hello, listen, let me be clear. Let me be clear. There was not a piano. There was not a flute. There was not a harp. Did y'all hear me now? Did y'all hear me? 
There was not a good time. No drums. I just wanted y'all to know that. You know, you see the Church of Christ, we don't have no music. We don't have no instruments of music. And then you wonder, well, is it because y'all can't afford it? No, it ain't the problem. We got people that can buy one and put it in there. The problem is, that is not what God showed the apostles. He says and in Acts chapter 2, and they and they were steadfast and they they continued in the apostles' doctrine. Nowhere in the book of, of, of uh, uh, Matthew through Revelation did you see the church praising God with an instrument they praised him with the fruit the hebrew writer in hebrews 13 says by the fruit of their lips saying make a melody in your heart unto the lord my brothers and sisters now i'm moving on you wanted to, you want to know if God would have wanted the instruments in his house, he would have showed it to him over there in the mountain, in the Israelites. Let me show you something. Because now he says it was a copy uh, and shadow of the good things to come. So when Moses, amen, David, David, is the is the king he got the he got the levitical priesthood people to bring this in in the instruments in when he became king and solomon continued it my brothers and sisters that is a significant point and i hope you receive it out of love but i asked you with the apostle Paul asked, do I become your enemy? Because I dare to teach you the truth. My brothers and sisters, the truth of God is. Now, he says now, if Jesus, if he had not become obedient and the mighty shepherd in the sky, the high priest, the glorified high priest and minister in heaven, because he wouldn't, he couldn't have been one. He could not have been one. Why? Because he came from the tribe of Judah, the priesthood of the Old Testament of the Jews came through. The Levitical, the, the sons of Levi. Moses was one of the sons of Levi. Aaron was one of the sons of Levi. That's so Jesus come through. So only under the Old Testament. Could a priest come from uh, out of the the priesthood through the Levitical uh, line, lineage? My brothers and sisters, and that was mo nothing more than a shadow of the good thing that God has in store. But let's look at verse six. Let's let's look at verse six. <laughs> oh, he says, he says here in verse number six, he says, but Jesus has now obtained a superior ministry and to, the, and to that decree, he is the mediator 
of a better covenant hmm. which has been legally enacted on better promises this is one of the great subjects of the bible and that is the new covenant of god a covenant is an agreement between two parties but note a significant fact amen the new covenant of god is the covenant of god not of man man has absolutely nothing to do with the terms of this covenant it is a covenant between god and man but the terms are set exclusively by god in life there there are two kinds of covenants the there is the covenant where both parties set the terms and agree to them secondly there is a covenant where one party sets the terms but both parties agree to them this kind of covenant is usually a called a will or a testament the covenant of god is uh, this latter covenant a covenant of god a covenant of god's will uh, and uh, his testament god sets the terms and conditions not and, and man accepts the covenant amen of the conditions that god has put out here for him now listen it, a covenant made is a covenant that has to also be uh, uh brought to pass there there is god god has a covenant with his people god sets the terms the people agree with the terms that god has given man why is it that we we god didn't sit down with us and and plan and we sat down and agreed to the terms well because a covenant you got to look out for not only your interests but you got to be able to look out for the interests of the other party and have the ability to complete whatever the covenant has been amen now just like those israelites couldn't keep perfectly the law of god and amen the covenant that god made with them on mount sinai god god knows man we we are frail we can't keep up with the thing that god the simple things that god wants us to do god he is he has the covenant and he is the one who can supplies and listen he knows you can't can't keep it on your own so what does he do he's paul he listened to how the apostle paul describes this thing how you and i can meet it he says now he says in galatians chapter 2 and verse number 20 he says now listen he says now listen i am crucified with christ nevertheless 
I live. Yet not I, but it is Christ living in me. The life that I now live, I live by the Son of God who gave himself for me. Paul says, now listen, it is no more I, it is Christ. And as long as you are walking in the will of God, in the power of Jesus Christ, you can overcome. God makes us great overcomers. My brothers and sisters, we've got to realize that God, God has a way for us. And he is looking for us to bring things together for the good, for the good of the kingdom of God. And what God began in you, God is able to complete. But have a good work. He has for your life. Jesus is the mediator of this new covenant. A perfect mediator. And this new covenant is a covenant established on better promise. Oh, praise be unto God. That's enough. That's more than that's more than we can bear today. Five seven one twelve forty. Five seven one twelve forty. Sister Dorothy Knight is asking us to pray for her health, her family, her children, and her Christian walk, and pray a special prayer for uh, her daughter, Crystal, who is traveling, uh, flying, and going in and out of town for safety. Sister Victoria Fowler is asking us to pray for her health and and asking us to continue to pray for her mother, Sister um, uh, Mary Hunter. She was in, in the hospital last week. She's out now, and we're just praying, praising God that his watchful eye is continued to be upon her. Also, Sister Marilyn Wester is asking us to pray for um her health and family. Pray for Brother Matthew. Wasn't feeling well on, on Sunday. Sister Rita Greer is asking um, for traveling grace for um, uh, Brian and Ashley Hanley returning to back to uh, Dallas and keep them in our prayers. Uh, we also Glad to have uh, with us this past week, Brother Zachary Kilgore. Amen. Um, and uh, we're glad to, that he was with us this week. And Sister Jacqueline Jack, Jack, Jack Safar, she is asking us to pray for her health, her family, her children, her Christian walk, and her daughter. Her daughter, uh, Verne, uh, had surgery on last Thursday. Uh, she's in a lot of pain, and uh, that's that's what uh, where where we are, Sister Armda Sharp. If you would like to have prayer, you give us a call. We'll pray with you. We'll pray for you. That God may strengthen your life and the life of those around you. I know that my Redeemer lives. Because he lives within my soul. And I know that when you feel broken, he is the he is the potter. He is the potter. The potter can put your life back together. I know you're broken. I know you're hurting. But he's a great physician. 
is a physician that can heal when no one else can heal. Some of you are struggling with addiction. You you don't want to you don't want to do the drugs and and and, and, and alcohol. You you want to get over it. You want to live a life of sobriety. I know I know God can help you. God can help you. Remember, He made you, so He knows all about you. He can help you overcome. And so if you're here today, we want to we want to pray for Brother Wayne Shimwell. Brother Shimwell having uh some medical issues that um he he needs our prayers and the prayers of those that that know the power of prayer means to all of us but we we thank god for, for his amazing grace that he sent and provides to us we want to pray god will show his great love and his great mercy before us the Mr. Marilyn Weston, she says, please continue to pray for me and my family for traveling grace. And I pray we will all be blessed and highly favored uh, for 2020. That's it, sister. That's it. Know that we're blessed. We're some blessed people. We're highly favored by the Lord our God. Praise be unto God. 571-1240, if you would like to have prayer. Sister Jaquay Thomas says, pray for guidance and strength and mercy of my decision. You hang in there. You hang in there, girl. God's got you. God's got you back. I know, I know you may not, you may not see it, but be still. Be still. The 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 Isaiah the prophet declared, those that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will run and not be weary. Don't, 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 don't get weary in well do or in due season. You'll reap if you thank God bless you. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God and Father, as we have come today, we opened up your word. And I pray that the people receive the message, not a message of mine but a message from the Lord. I pray that they will receive it in love. No, oh Lord, I pray. Pray for the great people of God. Every person that got up this morning and listened to the morning meditation with God, I pray. For them. Oh, I trust you. I trust you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, amen. My time is up for today. I've enjoyed being with you. I look forward to being with you again on tomorrow. Uh, until then, know this. Our God loves you, and so do I.